working with tables and attributes. Introduction Tabular information is the basis of geographic features. Tables can enhance maps by providing ways to store, visualize, query, and analyze data. In this course, you will learn how to use tabular data sources in ArcGIS Online and Map Viewer to explore spatial and non-spatial attributes, modify table components, and perform common field management operations. Basic Concepts of Table Tables provide the foundation for many data operations and map visualizations. One of the keys to creating good maps is understanding tabular data, or the information in a table. With tables, you can perform the following actions. 1. Store information in the form of tabular data. Each table can store multiple types of information. For example, a single table about school district performance could contain data about classroom sizes, student test scores, teacher names, and school building locations. 2. Visualize data to understand its distribution and how it relates to other data. Visualization can take the form of a map, charts, summary tables, or other graphics. 3. Query specific sets of related information. For example, given a large table of demographic data, you can apply a query that locates all records for women over the age of 50. 4. Analyze data to understand and extrapolate patterns, spot trends, and draw actionable conclusions. Types of tables in GIS. 1. Standalone tables. A standalone table is tabular data that exists as a separate file. Files that have a CSV or XSLX extension are common standalone tabular data sources. Standalone tables can also be stored in a database system, such as a table in a geo database. In GIS, standalone tables are not associated with mapped features. However, a standalone table might contain spatial information that can be used to generate a map layer or spatial dataset. For example, you can map the schools in a district by using the stored information for school building locations. 2. Attribute tables. An attribute table is the tabular data component of a spatial dataset. Common data sources that contain attribute tables include shape files, GeoJSON files, or feature classes in a geo database or geo package. Attribute tables contain the information that is associated with a spatial dataset's mapped features. Components table. Tables can organize data conveniently. In ArcGIS Online, the columns, fields, and rows, records, that compose a table are structured in specific ways. 1. Fields and Records Fields are the columns of a table. They are the categories of information that the table contains, such as names, areas, statuses, or ID numbers. Fields are the components that provide structure for a table. Each table row refers to a record. A record is a set of related data field values. Records must have a value for every field in the table, but values are allowed to be null. 2. Field names and display names. Each field in a table must have a field name. Field names are unique from each other and are used in field calculations. Field names have limited character options. A display name is an alias, or an alternative name, for a field. They display first in the table and properties. A display name is typically a more intuitive or descriptive title for a field. 3. Attributes, each value that is stored in a table cell is an attribute. Attributes are the data of the table. Each record in a table is a set of related attribute values that are organized by their fields, even though they are different table types, both standalone tables and attribute tables contain attributes. 4. Field data types, each field stores a specific type of information, such as a number, date, or text string. Each data category is a data type. An attribute must conform with the field's data type. For example, double is a numeric data type, so any field of that type cannot contain text. Data types are important considerations in performing table operations. For example, unique ID fields can maintain relationships between tables in a database. If one table's ID field is an integer type but another table's ID field is a string type, a relate operation for those two tables might fail. 
5. Linking to feature layers. In ArcGIS Online, tabular spatial datasets in a map are feature layers. An attribute table contains the tabular data that is associated with a feature layer. In an attribute table, each record is linked to a corresponding spatial feature. In contrast, standalone tables are not associated with a feature layer, and their records are not linked to features. Standalone tables in a web map are also referred to as table layers. 6. Spatial attributes. A spatial attribute refers to any attribute that can be used to create a mappable data layer. For example, in ArcGIS Online, you can create spatial features from street addresses, zip codes, place names, latitude and longitude data, geometry strings, and more. Multiple fields can contain spatial attributes. Standalone tables can also contain spatial attributes even though they are not attribute tables of feature layers. Viewing and interacting with tables. Map Viewer in ArcGIS Online provides the functionality to inspect and interact with any supported source of tabular data. Although these actions do not change the underlying data, some interactions can change how the data is displayed in the web map. There are four types of tabular data interactions. One, visibility, choose which fields are shown or hidden in the table, or change which fields can display attributes in a layer's interactive pop-ups. 2. Subsetting. Display and interact with only specific records by selecting or filtering based on a query. 3. Field order. Change the order in which fields appear in the table or in other components, such as pop-ups or settings windows.